Welcome artists and those who would like to know more about painting. I'm artist Susan Jenkins. Today we're going to be learning how to paint palm trees. I had the blessed opportunity to work with my daughter-in-law. This is my painting. This is her painting she completed in this lesson. Never had an art lesson before. This is the reference photo from Pixabay. It's a website where you can get images for painting without a copyright. Now, let me brag on my daughter-in-law, Chelsea. What a blessing when she came into our lives and an answer to prayer. She's married to my oldest son, Jared, and they truly are a match made in heaven. So join me while I give Chelsea her first art lesson, and she chose the subject matter of painting palm trees. Oh, and stay tuned to the end of the video for a little musical performance from both of my sons, who are awesome. In this video, I have lots of real time, but I do speed up some of the section where she is painting and following my instruction. And I decided not to add music during those little times where I speed it up because it got a little irritating. So it'll just be kind of silent, but just keep watching. There is plenty of instruction in this video. All right, so I'm gonna do a little part at a time and then let you do it. Okay, so it doesn't get overwhelming to you. So what I think I'm gonna focus on first is just this little shape in here. And we're just going to, you see where it kind of is on that iPad? Mm -hmm. It comes from, from here to here, kind of got from there to there, and we've just got a little kind of shape coming in there. Can you do that? Okay. So. You can look at mine if you want to. Kind so of. you're going from here to here. Yep. And that thing. So. It doesn't have to be dark, just, you know. Yep. Nice. All right, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that darkest dark in first. I'm gonna get that brown color, and um, let's first, we're gonna just use the same pastels together. I'm gonna go kind of sideways, and then I'm gonna kind of make that little crown like that. That's like, that's how I usually do it. Just kind of fill in that area in, and it's okay if it goes outside the lines. It's actually better if it goes outside the lines. Make it a little wider than you think. Good, and don't, oh, one other thing, don't press too hard. Oh, um, that's okay, because we're gonna scrub it off. But with this part, um, it's kind of like just making little marks like that, okay? Um, so now what we're gonna do, I need a little bit more than mine. And um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the side again, mm -hmm. wherever I can find, and I'm gonna kind of make the shapes of some of these. And remember how it comes up thinner? Mm -hmm. And then what I'm doing is I'm looking at how, this is where it starts to kind of, shape like a palm. Let's try, um, okay, you hold it to where? Yeah, where should I hold it? Because I me, think I'm trying to hold on to your Let me try doing thing. it right-handed yep. so that you can see. There's a little flat groove right there. Okay. We're literally going to let that lay on the whole paper. Okay. And then we're just going to start softly mm -hmm. giving shape. And that's the thing, kind of turning your hand okay. in, in ways that it, it kind of goes along with it. I forget that there's a lot of finesse to this. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, yep, yeah, bringing it down. Yep. Yeah. And then you fill in a little bit more in there. Nice. Very good. This is the underpainting part where you're going to choose three different values. I may have used four values, lightness to darkness, 
of a warm tone. You can use pinks or oranges. Uh, we chose kind of the pink family. I think our darkest dark was a little bit of that brown color. Um, and then a middle value pink and a lighter pink. So just choose something warm. It really gives the blues of the water um, and something warm for the sand to lay on as well. I think I'll add some music to this section because it's kind of a long span of nothing. <laughs> if I left the voice in it, you'd hear us talking like chipmunks. And I'm speeding it up just because this video, it's probably going to be close to an hour already. And if I didn't speed up some sections, it would have been really long and taken forever to upload with my slow Wi-Fi. All right, enjoy this part and we'll get back to the painting after the underpainting is done. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our little piece of pipe foam insulation, okay. these little pieces, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to kind of scrub in these darks, okay. and I'm just looking at how the palm fronds would grow. Okay. Um, up, scrubbing them out, I'm kind of looking. You see how it's just kind of getting like a, a palm? So you can do the same thing. This is the purple. It may not be dark enough. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and get this little crown thing in. And okay. see, I'm, I'm kind of, I know it kind of comes out like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just giving a few little shapes like that, bringing it out. And then the, the trunk of the tree just kind of comes. I'm using the side to kind of bring it down like that. Okay. Okay. This is where we are. Um, establishing the darkest darks. After you rub it off with the pipe foam insulation, it does kind of lighten some of the darker values that you had. So you reinforce them 
and we're using, I'm not sure if it's the Terry Ludwig eggplant color or not, but used what, whatever dark you have. I try not to use black. It just feels a little flat and dead. So um, really just, uh, and by the way, the reference photo, I'm going to be providing to my patrons on my Patreon page. So you guys will have that reference photo to paint from. And again, if you're not a patron, it's easy and safe and only five dollars a month to get a little extra instruction plus it supports monet cafe this channel um and i'm not going to put the link up here like i usually do but it's just patreon.com slash susan jenkins so um you patrons will have that reference photo so we're working now if you look at the reference photo if you have it it is um you can see the darkest darks are definitely in the core of that the crown of that palm tree and some of the fronds that start coming out and the shadow is pretty dark too but i didn't want to keep it as dark um, on the ground because it would have drawn too much attention to it so we do darken it a bit but then we cool it off um, with more shadowy colors later all right so um, this span of silence has almost been taken up by my voice and i apologize for these little breaks but i really thought that beach music would get on y'all's kind of nerves under here these are a little darker there's a little bit of that color in there there's a little bit of it in there and like yep Okay, now we're going to go for that green, and I'm going to check these greens. I'm looking where anywhere where there's like a dark green, this is a pretty good one. Okay, so my darkest greens, I got one right there. Definitely got some in there. You see in here, mm -hmm. in here, in there. Oh, sorry. And then back in here. Oh, yeah, down in there. I'm going to keep a light touch, though, because I want to keep that dark on there, too. I don't want to rub that dark off. And then there's some... Back in here, it goes up and kind of down. Um, I did see, I want to get, I didn't, you got that one and I didn't get mine. That's actually pretty dark under there. I don't want to cover up too much of that dark. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Oh, this one in here. I don't think I got kind of some of the, the darker greens going on back there because those are definitely the more shadowy greens, you know? Okay, now I have a little bit of a lighter green here. Mm -hmm. We've got some areas that are a little bit lighter. Um, like this one, I'm using the sides. I know all this is like new to you. So mm -hmm. it's kind of hard when you've never done this before. And then we've got some lighter on the tips here and a little bit here. I don't want to go over that dark green we just put down, but I'm just kind of following up. See how I'm using the side and doing that mm -hmm. sweeping motion. And now this is all dark in here, but then we're getting this lighter green up in here. And it doesn't matter that I'm covering a lot of it. Okay. because we're going to go in and do what's called negative painting and you see i have to keep turning my arm there's some lighter ones out there but there's a little bit of the uh, medium this is kind of like a middle value green here this one back here has a little bit of that i think i'm gonna leave that one back there don't do too much to that now let's see here a little bit in there I think I'll stop here so you can do what I've done so far. Okay. But keeping that little bit of sweep, turning your pastels to where they have direction and energy. Okay. Um, now I'm going to work on this frond right here. And we're going to put the lights on top, okay. but this is all kind of medium value green kind of behind there. So I'm just going to kind of pull some of that down. That's like the part that's behind and a little bit there and just a light, light touch for this part here. A little bit there. Then we'll put the lights on top of that. But I think, I really think some purples in here okay. would look nice. Now this is kind of a dark. But I'm just going to go in in a couple of the areas where there's, remember how I said cooler colors make good shadows? Mm -hmm. Where there's some darks and I'm just kind of um, reinforcing, I'm keeping a light touch, I'm kind of using the edge of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just coming in where they're 
might be a few where it's kind of dark, just a little bit, maybe a little bit in there. It all does look a little dark at this point, but keep in mind in pastels we work dark to light and we'll be creating the brightness to it later as we do the negative now, painting. I think what I'm going to do here, if you look, can you see how that's a little bluish purple, mm -hmm. the shadow? Shadows are always good to have um, a little purple in them. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just using the edge and um, I'm kind of just letting it be super light and wispy. I'm not making strong marks and I'm just kind of coming in here. It's all right if it goes a little bigger than you think because we can come in later and carve the sand between it. Mm -hmm. We're going to lose our battery soon. Yeah, looks good. That color is like bringing it to life to get some cooler colors in there like that. We'll probably use that same color to negative paint into these palm fronds, but okay. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more of this color down in here um, because I'm going to cover it. Remember, we can work dark to light with pastels. I can cover it with a lighter teal. Now what I'm going to do is, you see how this is a little bit lighter in value? Mm -hmm. It's getting a lighter as it comes <coughs> in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work in here a little bit where it's a little lighter. And I, I put this down so it'll kind of work together. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do the same thing over in here with this color. So I'm going to take the flat side, mm -hmm. flattest side I can find, and um, lightly, because this is definitely lighter, and um, I just want a little bit of that, like the sunlight's just kind of underneath there, okay? And then what I'm going to do, we'll negative paint these later, but um, I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of get this color a little bit in this water back here. And there's like a little uh, bank of water back there that's kind of uh, almost lavenderish. But even though I'm going to make this lighter in the foreground, I'm going to go ahead and get this color pretty much all the way down there. This is where we're starting to lay in the watercolors. And in doing this, we're going to have to begin the negative painting, which probably was the hardest thing for Chelsea to do. I mean, she's new at everything, so but I think she did a great job. Let's get, I'm just going to get a little bit where it's not a solid edge. You see, you can break the edge up. I just, you see how lightly I'm touching there? Mm-hmm. Super super in the sky up top, um, like right in here. Mm -hmm. And um, I know we're going to go dark <coughs> blue to light blue, um, but I'm going to remember that, let's see how dark that is in the sky, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put a little bit of that to balance this. You, you kind of like to use some colors throughout the painting mm -hmm. um, so that your painting has harmony. So I'm going to do, yeah, that's the side I use right there. A little bit of that in that sky. Okay, I've got three blues here now. Um, that's the darkest, medium, medium light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, and the upper heavens are going to be the darkest. And this is called a Jack Richardson pastel. Mm -hmm. and, and they're round, and sometimes they have edges on the ends. So, yeah. But this one's actually pretty smooth right there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of looking to where some of these darks are. And I'm going to blaze lightly over this color because I just liked a little bit of that color in the sky. And bring it down in here a little. And usually you bring it down a little further. And uh, I'll work on negative painting these in a minute. For right now, I'll just let you get the sky in. You may also notice that we're both wearing the brand new Monet Cafe Earth Colors bracelets. They're the type that has the little stones on it and you can put essential oils on it. I'll have the link in the description section of this video. They're around $20. And like right in here, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mine were shaped a little differently, but that's okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fill in a little bit here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of that negative painting, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just 
kind of looking at where the palm fronds are mm -hmm. and just carving kind of into them. They kind of come up like this. So I'm going to put a little bit more of uh, negative shapes in here. And now I'm looking at this, they kind of start going this way. You see that? Mm -hmm. And then I got another branch up there. So, but I'm just getting that in so that I can get this color laid down right there. Okay. That's good. Just a hint of it. That's all we need. Now I'm going to get this other color blue. I want to first just see. Yeah, that's just kind of a pretty blue. I'm going to just add a little bit of that blue in here, just like that. Nice. Okay, now we're going to take this lighter blue, and it's a it's a good bit lighter. I'm, I might need to pull some of this other blue down. Um, that's okay. Okay, what I'm going to do, I am, I'm going to put some of this lighter blue down here to the horizon. And I don't like making a line at the horizon. Um, I like making an edge okay. rather than a line. You see, I didn't like draw a line. Mm -hmm. um, and then after I do <clears> that, <throat> again, we're gonna bring that color all the way down. Then I'm looking, remember how I said I liked some of that? Mm -hmm. um, find the edge again, right here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm going super light right now. I'm just kind of bringing some of that up into the sky. And I'm keeping like a little bit of an energy. I can soften this up in a minute mm -hmm. with, with by putting some other colors over it. Um, but we're just creating a little bit of cloud motion there. Okay. And I'm going super light now. And what I'm doing is I'm just softening the edges so that they look wispy. Okay. See how that did that? Mm -hmm. How much softer it looks? And I kind of try to take it in the direct, super light touch with this, because you don't want to muddy it up or cover it all up either. Um, you're just kind of blending it in. Then it gets that wispy, far away cloud look. Let's go ahead and get some of those lighter greens. All right. Um, for the branches, this is probably a good one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at where my middle value greens are. Mm -hmm. We've got some in here, I don't want these lighted, but I can put some over this, but we'll add lights. But I'm taking this one, and let me know if you need a break or something. <laughs> it's on our feet a lot. I'm flattening that out a little bit. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm looking at my branch, and I'm just coming like it would grow, and giving a, a little light touch like that. And then this one kind of comes up, in, down. Okay. See how I did that? Some of those, and then mm -hmm. some of these kind of come in and down. And then a few more. Then they kind of start going that way. And these back here just kind of curve off like that. Okay, now let's see here. Um, we've got some middle greens a little bit back in here, but they're they're kind of so far away and You know, it's like sunlight's hitting them from behind right that I'm not going to add too many of those We're going to peek it through and a few of them in there Testing uh, often in art you, you just have to suggest something you don't have to spell it out now What I'm working on is this little area right in here mm -hmm. and um, it comes in here and a little bit out there it Comes up up short, a little bit down here, see that? Mm -hmm. And then a little bit over there, <laughs> You're like on your own. Um, I see a little bit like back in here with some of mine. Just and some, kind of like where the sun's getting that yeah, right in, branch. Right in here. Oh yeah, and, and uh, also too, we do have to get our center branches that are a little bit um, lighter. Yes, okay. Um, but yeah, we got definitely this one, okay, mm -hmm. right in here. So, also remind us it kind of comes up from here. Like that. Yeah. There you go. 
Okay, and there's not a whole lot of these that we see. This one's buried. You yeah. Know? And the rest of it, there's a little bit of one back right there, there and right here, though. I mean, so we definitely have this coming in. It's a little thicker. Thick. Yep, right there. Good eye. A it seems bit. like they're close together. Like these two. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, together. like right there. Yep. You really have to hand it to Chelsea. Uh, even though she picked the um, subject matter of palm trees, negative painting the palm fronds, there's definitely a finesse to negative painting if you've ever done sky holes with trees. And bless her heart, she hung right in there with it. And I was really, really proud of her. Of the trees. Um, let's look at some of the negative spaces within here. Okay. We've got some little bits of blue. You see those little mm -hmm. parts? And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus right here in this little part. I've kind of got two areas, like I've got two palm fronds growing. I actually, I'm going to get an even darker blue than this. Okay. Remember how I said you want to use darker colors? In the yeah. Yeah. Crevices. This one's good. See how that's just a little darker? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it really makes it kind of glow. Okay, and then I won't do too many. I'll do a few of it. Okay, now I've got a little bit like right in there. I'm going to start seeing little marks in here, and then I've got a more of it up in here. You see that area? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and just, all I'm doing, let me show you the strokes. Okay. Instead of doing this, mm -hmm. it's better to make little strokes, but you try to make sure you get them kind of in the direction of how um, the palm the, fronds are Yeah. Going. That's looking good. Yeah. Palmish, but that's good for now. Let's okay. leave that. All right, we've got some palms, we've got them growing. Now, here's the other thing. We've got to work on the negative shapes underneath. Okay. But we've got to get this, the, this color of the beachy done first so we know how to carve it in. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take um, a deeper blue for that background blue um, water. Mm -hmm. And water typically is darker on the horizon. Mm -hmm. It's If you notice on the beach, for some reason, water is always darker. This seems like a really dark blue. And it's deeper. But I'm going to probably, yeah. Yeah, that makes I never thought about it. <laughs> Good point. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm turning it on its side. It's going to look really dark right now. Mm -hmm. I'm my glasses on. But um, I'm not, I'm, I'm glazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of using a backward forward motion because, and the width of this works fine because we're going to go down right about here. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, now what we're going to do, we're actually going to glaze over that with another color, but I'm going to get kind of a lavender-y color. Okay. Um, we have something that's similar, which is this blue, but it's in the sky. Let me see how this behaves. Okay. Now, I'm going to soften it up with a little bit of this blue, maybe. Let me see. Yeah. See how that's a little lighter? Mm -hmm. I'm just mixing a little bit of this in there. All right, now I'm trying to look at this little, um, well, first I love that turquoise color. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. This one's probably going to be too light next to that. See how light that is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to find me a turquoise that's darker than you think you would use. Maybe like here. Oh, yeah. Or here. here. Yeah. Let's try these. That's pretty. Okay. So it kind of, and we're going to have to, unfortunately, carve the stuff in there. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part. Okay. Um, but I do like this color. I'm going to turn it on the side a little bit. And I'm, this is called scumbling. I'm, I'm trying not to make any definite marks, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you just can't get it to go on super smooth, but I'm getting it just, see this, this is a, what's called a sommelier, no, this is a Terry Ludwig pastel, and it's just so soft, you know, yeah. it's really, really hard to get a soft touch. This one, I'm, that's lighter. I might even need a little darker. See how light that shows up there? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can go. Is this the one we used before? Yeah, see how that's a little darker? Yeah. Um, we're going to do a little darker in the shadows here. Okay. 
Now, Water we used color. a different one for here than here, right? Yes, oh, sorry, you're right, there we go. And that's a super softy, so just keep a super light touch. Mm -hmm. It's all right if it has the chunkiness mm -hmm. there. We can tone it down or let it be impressionistic. Nice, looks good. That. Good, yep. And then, I think it was this one? No, uh, it was this that one. one, yeah. No. And we can actually use this one a little bit down in here where it's darker, but oh, yeah, yeah, we can mm -hmm. do that one where I needed it darker. While you're doing that, I'm working a little bit more. Now we continued to work on this, oh, probably 15, 20 minutes more or so, adding the brights. I don't like to say the lights, um, turn the lights on, because it's better actually to use brighter colors than lighter colors. We don't want to go with whites. If you remember the reference photo, it, it was bright with sunshine. But um, we, we try to keep that gorgeous color in there and use brighter colors like we're doing with the water right now. And then we continue to add the brighter, uh, more yellowy green colors to the palm fronds. And that's what really brought it to life. I would say, I would absolutely say she did a fantastic job for her first time pastel painting or really any painting lesson. I think she, she may have done one of those sketch and sip things and she likes art and I think has played around with art some, but um, she really did a great job. And I could tell she was very pleased at the final result. Now I have to give kudos and uh, thanks to my oldest son, Jared. He came over while we did this lesson. If you're seeing this video much later, this video was done in the midst of the whole pandemic 2020 um, coronavirus thing where we uh, really kind of had to self quarantine a little bit. And my son was just kind of hanging out waiting on us to finish. So he was very patient. Thank you, Jared. Um, notice how I'm adding some of those purples in there down um, kind of underneath and beside the leaves a little bit. I do soften that a bit, but it gives more of the feeling that it's in shadow when you get those cool uh, colors uh, underneath. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of music to the rest of this. Please enjoy. And also uh, keep in mind too that I don't think I got all of the footage of us adding those brighter greens to the leaves, but you could see the result in the final paintings that I'll share. Also stay tuned for just a little bit of me bragging on my children. I can't help it. It's my channel, right? <laughs> but that's why I'm putting it at the end in case you don't wanna hear that. All right guys, enjoy this to the music. Stay tuned to the end. And I hope you try this. This is actually the 12th painting in the series we did, or the challenge, if you want to call it that, 12 Days of Healing. It was a painting opportunity I presented to my patrons. If you're not a patron, you can do so by going to www.patreon.com slash Susan Jenkins. It's just a place where I provide a little bit extra uh, for those who want a little bit more than what the Monet Cafe Art Channel provides. It's only $5 a month. You can can cancel at any time. And it's just a nice group. I get a lot more communication with my patrons and they're participating in this challenge. This is painting number 12 and they're all sharing their work in an album that we have just for my patrons. And I'm gonna be announcing a prize for some of the participants in the Patreon challenge. So that's very exciting. But I am putting this video up on the main Monet Cafe channel, um, just because I know so many people are home without a lot to do. So I'm, uh, I always give free content on Monet Cafe, but sometimes I give a little more advanced content to my patrons. But in this case, Monet Cafe, you're gonna get the whole thing. So enjoy the rest of this with the music and I'll be back soon.
Here's my sweet little Chelsea with her finished painting. And like I said, I can't help but brag on my babies. I thought I'd introduce the fam to you guys. Here's Jared and Chelsea again. And also here are two of my other boys with my other daughter-in-law, Lorena. I have a total of three boys who are amazing, godly young men. And I am just so blessed and so proud. So I'm choosing not to monetize this particular video of mine so that I can share with you at the end of this video some clips of my son's singing. My older two boys play instruments. My youngest son, Garrett, the tall one there, He's just flat out awesome. So, um, but here's my first son, Jared, Chelsea's husband, with a little taste of his musical talent, and then my son, Bryson, after that. And here's my middle son, Bryson, with his wife, Lorena, who he met on a mission trip in Romania. Don't tell me God can't put people together from across the world. Lorena sings, plays the piano, is artistic, multi-talented, and we're just so blessed to have her. So this next clip after this is Bryson singing another song. overflows with love for my children. Well, that was definitely an eclectic video. I hope you enjoyed it though. I hope you learned something and you were blessed. And tomorrow is Resurrection Day, the day we celebrate our Christ, the risen Savior. So be blessed and happy painting. <laughs>